I'll tell you a phrase that's just struck me. In the last chapter, and it's linked to this now, in the last chapter, Jotham um, was careful to live the Lord's way, was careful to live in the obedience of the Lord. He was careful and he was better off. And I am coming, I actually am starting to believe this more than ever. It's hard to um, live for Jesus sometimes, but it's a lot harder to choose the way of sin. I actually think the yoke and burden of Jesus is much lighter than the path of sin and life without him. That is hard because it is constant let down when you try and serve yourself as your own God. It's constant let down. No one can attain to it. No I object can attain to it. It's just judgment. You become bitter. You become selfish, self-centered. Um, you don't give. You don't share your life. Then you get judged by the living God. It's a hard hard life which Ahaz has chosen to do in spite of his father being careful to stay godly when we abandon the living God like the enemy Satan is like take this enticing route but as soon as we do he like lords it over you traps you weighs you down with it and shackles you with that sin and this life of guilt just comes in and, they, and it is worth being careful to be obedient to God because you don't have that life of a guilty conscience. Church life all the way, baby. Church life. Don't think I'm being naive here. I've been in pastoral ministry for like over a decade. Part of church life longer than that. Much longer than that now. I have been hurt, backstabbed, betrayed, attacked physically, verbally. Good things are quickly forgotten. Bad things are always talked about. I know I am not saying that church is this place of Shangri-La where all of our sorrows are immediately ended. Often church actually hurts more than any other place. But I tell you with the authority of the word of the Lord there is nothing better even with that stuff there comes life and a new vision of Jesus and an appreciation for his people and it's like who gives a monkeys if people say bad things about me and hurt me I don't deserve friends anyway and if anybody knew what I was really like literally no one would ever talk to me and they'd be right it's all that stuff get involved with church <laughs>